10 degrees out today. Back at my little spot, toes are cold. Check this out, you guys. Beautiful place. Ice fog rolling in. Pretty magnificent. Get this glove back on. So, I walked all the way out in 10 degree weather, all the way down to the water on the beach. Whoa. Just show you guys icicles. It's probably silly, but check this out. Anybody for a swim? I got a... There. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I wish you guys were here. I wish you could see this. I wish my family was here. Um, I surround myself by amazing people. My friends are amazing. The fire department's amazing. And this opportunity I have right now to ride this technology wave, this evolution as I keep talking about, is uh, something I'm passionate for. It's something I'm pushing for. And uh, this vlog number four that you guys are witnessing the, the birth of right now, out on this cold, cold morning, is, uh, is where it's at. Let's go do some fun things together. Let's see this world. Let's see this part of the country. And, uh, and let's blend that with the amazing evolution of, of fire, fire prevention, the men and women in public service, and the boom in technology that we're now being able to apply to all of this to help save lives. And uh, I hope all of you will continue watching my vlog, and my videos, and support the men and women in, in public service. Apparently I have an animal over there that they're trying to chase. Oh, my pointing finger is gone. I need to get a mitten with a pointing finger. I no longer can point like I do. There's been some developments. We potentially have a, uh, a celebrity. You guys know Todd Dewey? Todd Dewey of Ice Road Truckers? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That guy's extreme. He's as extreme as they get. Northern logger, northern trucker, this guy drives trucks all over the countryside. Up north, where the tough is tough. You think it's cold here? This guy's got stories about cold, I assure you. When it comes to search and rescue, when it comes to uh, finding a lost person or someone who's injured in the forest, this man knows the threats. This man knows the detail and he can appreciate the technology behind the FLIR drone. I believe we have his support and, dare I say, spokesperson. I not only want to work with this individual, I want to help him. He and I can help each other. I cannot wait to meet him. He's coming out to the house this weekend, and uh, him and his wife. He's going to be part of this vlog. You guys stay tuned, stay warm, and we'll be talking to you soon. All right, hey guys, check this out. Look who I'm hanging out with. Oh wait, you don't guys, forget you guys the know me. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the audio. <laughs> Had to check the audio. Remember I told you I'd be hanging out with Todd Dewey? Check this out. Hi Todd, guys. Todd Dewey, right there. So we spent yesterday at the fire department, you guys will be seeing that clip probably in a week or so. Amazing, and, yeah. amazing. So I'm super, super excited about this. He is gonna be working with me with Quadricopter, and remember when I said spokesperson? He has pretty much agreed to uh, help us with this. I, I, I think a relationship is in the blossom here. And as I said, this guy's extreme. He is out there in the elements and doing things that you and I couldn't even imagine. And the use for a rescue drone like this, I mean, what, in, off the top of your head. I mean, this is this yeah, is live, off, this, off, is, this off, is real. You know what, what comes to mind is what you just said a minute ago is agreed to help. That's, that's that's the key word here, agreed to help. This isn't about money, this isn't about fame, this is about people's lives that we're talking about. And that's why I've agreed to work with Bryce on this this te this super technology that's coming out, because it's about saving lives, and I am all about that. What I went through at Finley Point yesterday with what they've got on technology 
for burning buildings, for the fires in the woods, to find people that are lost. That portrays into my job as an ice road trucker, as, a, as an axeman in the woods, you know, logging in the woods. These drones could these drones could potentially save lives. That is just unbelievable, and I am all for that 100%. Blown away, you guys, by the tech. I mean, absolutely amazing. You've got to go check it out. Dig into it to yourselves. You don't believe us? Go look at them. Go see what these things are capable of doing. Absolutely. I'm telling you, you are going to be impressed. Absolutely. I have to be honest with you. Those of you that know me know that I've owned a trucking company and I've been driving trucks and heavy equipment and stuff. Of course, a guy like this right here. A guy like me, that's my hero, okay? And and the stories, I mean, I'm just sitting there like, oh, are you kidding me? He's telling me a story about being on the ice road without the cameras rolling. I, were, you, were you with yeah. a production crew that time when, when the dozer went through and unfortunately that guy lost his the life? Grader, the grader, the grader. The yeah, grader went through. went through. He told me this story about pushing snow drifts with the front of his truck and how he, being a professional, saw that the lake was wrong. He couldn't pull his truck out onto the lake and apparently this, this grader had gone through the ice. Can you imagine a drone? This individual lost his life, yeah. unfortunately. If we would have had that technology that uh -huh. I seen yesterday at Finley Point Fire Department. Absolutely. That right there, we possibly could have saved somebody's life. Yeah. If we could have had that technology there at hand and ready to go, would have been, Absolutely. It would have been amazing. So as and he's, as he's saying, he's saying, I'm his, I'm that his hero on driving, no. <laughs> these guys at these fire departments and what they do in saving lives, Thank you. they're the true heroes. Thank you. I just happen to get filmed at a job that I do, but these guys save lives. That's what's important, and this technology is huge. That's what's going to be important in the future. Well, I, I can't thank this guy enough. We got one more day together. We're going to get off this business stuff here real quick, but I just wanted you guys to meet Todd. Check that out. I'm going to hang out with him and enjoy this beautiful day. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is, it's, uh, it's cold. I can't, it's beautiful. I, it's I can't say, is what it is. It, it is. is gorgeous. I can't here. say, God, it's cold out here to this guy because he's talking about 70 below. You guys will see a lot more of Todd. I've got some great footage. We had a guy shove a truck into two trees last night, <laughs> and this guy pulled him out. Can't ask for better footage. Even when I try to be on vacation, I'm still working. What an awesome experience with Todd here, and I can't wait to show you guys some more footage. Yeah. Hey, hang in there. We'll see you guys later. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye bye. Supporting me as always is Quadricopter, the professional's choice in public safety.